Emily Randolph. I'm a mixed media artist in Scottsdale, Arizona. And this is my gallery, Dragonwood Studio. I'm also from Greenwich, Connecticut originally. My design inspiration is actually happiness. I believe we choose happiness and joy. So I choose happiness every day and I want to reflect that in my artwork, along with all the layers of light, which includes the sharp edges. So my work is very textured and layered. It requires uh, resin and natural materials and glass. <clears throat> I've just finished a 10 week show at the Celebration of Fine Art, where approximately 60 of my pieces were shown. <clears throat> and now some of the pieces can be found in Dragonwood Studio. Technically, it took me all my life to create this collection, uh, but uh, specifically uh, a, a, a year. So about 60 pieces took me a year. <clears throat> well, I look, I look for uh, what I consider very luxurious materials and materials that hold color well. The UV cured ink is very important for, for me, and so I look for materials that work, will work well and dynamically with that. For me, dye bond gives a beautiful quality, uh, a luminosity, uh, which is wonderful just with the ink or with resin on top. And citra is wonderful because it really makes a color pop. It's also great for outdoor use, but so is dye bond as well. My, my process is very layered, so I'll, I'll have a material with the imagery is printed on it already, and then I hand finish them from there. So I use various materials from natural materials, from dried flowers and branches and grasses to uh, fire glass and tempered glass, pebbles even, and I will do several layers of all of those materials with the resin. And that gives me a very textured effect. I also create sculptures which are uh, cut out layers of dye bond, fused together, making a 3D sculpture. Well, I think every material has its own qualities <clears throat> and you could call them challenges, but they often lead to advantages. So when you're working with a material, you have to you have to have a feel for how it reacts to different uh, materials like resin, and then learn how to work with the material as opposed to against it. So I don't consider any of, any of the materials challenging. I enjoy the process of working with them and seeing how to best show them off. Well, I have been using aluminum uh, previously, but I was using someone from Germany and the materials were, were nice, but they would come dented. So I was seeking someone uh, in the United States uh, and I was looking for a better quality aluminum as well. And it just so happened that Artisan Color is here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And they have a superior product, their dye bond aluminum from Create Composites is truly excellent and it holds their UV cured ink beautifully. So I was introduced to dye bond through Artisan Color and also Sintra, because with the dye bond, it's hard to print uh, a white to look like white, the white turned silver. They introduced me to the Sintra product. <clears throat> and as it turned out, the Sintra was, was, gave a whole new quality to my artwork giving it kind of a tile-like effect, which was beautiful and different. And it was also really excellent for large-scale commercial and residential projects because of its affordability. What we found that printing direct to dye bond with our UV cured ink, it almost gives like a 3D sort of pearlescent effect. And so she's really, that's one of the core reasons she found us was she wanted that look for her art. 
So when using the brush dye bond, it just gives an amazing sort of depth and density to her work. So we certainly recommended it and she, she was somewhat familiar with the product and we've done several of her works on dye bond.